Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and this is Maestro Electrico and if you are just new to our channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and of course to hit the notification bell so that you could be updated with our tutorial video. So this is actually our third tutorial video for the three bulbs controlled by one single pole switch. Of course, we have here now uh, the three bulbs. We have bulb A, B, and C. So according to our diagram, we have bulb A, B, and C also. So we have here the circuit breaker, on position and the off position. So we have it here now, the symbol for our um, circuit breaker. So in the circuit breaker, we have the line 1 and the line 2. Okay, this is our line 2 actually. So line 1 will serve as our neutral line. Then line 2 will serve as our live wire or hot line. Okay, so we have here the control device, single pole switch. So we have it here now. That is on position on the right side, off position on the left side. Okay. So, of course, we have the junction boxes, just like here, we have the junction boxes, and each load have two pieces of wires, we have two pieces of wires also, two pieces of wires, two pieces of wires coming from the control device, and two pieces of wires coming from our circuit breaker, and also our mail plug, that will serve as our source line, two pieces of wires also. Okay, so here we have two pieces of terminals or wires, so the same also here. We have two pieces of wires also. Okay, so to start with, of course, we should have first to understand as to how are we going to connect the three bulbs controlled by one single pole switch only. Okay, so once we are going to switch on the, the control device or the switch, these three bulbs will simultaneously uh, switch on or off together. Okay, so we have here the three cycles of current to flow for us to be guided enough as to how are we going to connect the wiring connections of the circuit. Okay, this is actually applicable to all types of the circuit, all different types of wiring activity. This is a very important theory about the three cycles of current to flow in the circuit. So we have here the first cycle. This is our first cycle around this point. So in the first cycle, we only have to connect the wires or one of the wires coming from the source line. We have line one and the line two, that is the source line. Line one, this one, the line one will serve as our neutral line. Line 2 will serve also as our live wire. So we have here the line 2. So therefore, in this point here, or in this side, we have the source line. Now, the theory is that one of the terminals coming from the source is connected to one of the terminals also coming from the load. This is the load symbol, right? Is connected together to execute our first cycle. Meaning to say, one term one terminal coming from from the source and one terminal also coming from the load connected together to execute our first cycle so meaning to say if we are going to transfer that idea into this diagram it would go like this way so one of the terminals coming from the source line we will choose first uh, line one that serve as our neutral line this way so it's, uh, let's put like that. Then, connect it to one of the terminal coming from the loads. Okay, so since we have three loads in the circuit, meaning to say, okay, this way. So, since we have three loads in the circuit, we will have to connect also one of the terminals coming from the second load and also to the third load, so connected together to execute our first cycle. So this is around our first cycle, so this way. This is just our first cycle, guys. So three wires here, one, two, three, connected together. 
So we have two wires here plus the other one wire. That is three wires already. That one. So three wires go one, two, three. Still on the first cycle. Right? Now, that is the first cycle. Now for the second cycle at this point. The second terminal coming from the load. This one. Second terminal. Second terminal coming from the load. So the second terminal coming from the load is connected together coming from the control device. This one. One of the terminals is connected to the together to execute our second cycle. So we need to say, this is our second terminal. This one also second terminal coming from the load and also coming from the load C is also our second terminal coming from the load. Now, it's connected together. So we need to say this way. And this way. And this way. So we need to say three wires also connect, connected here. Okay? Now, how about the other one? Here. This could be around three wires already. This one. So we need to say three wires connected. So one, two, three. So three wires. One, two, three. Three wires also. This is our second cycle. This is our second cycle. So for the third cycle, we have it here. This, the second terminal coming from the switch line is connected to the line two of the of the source is connected together to execute our third cycle. So we need to say the last cycle will be one of the terminals coming from the switch and one of the terminals coming from the source line executed together to perform our uh, third cycle. So this is our third cycle. From the switch line to the light wire or the line 2. So this is our third cycle. Okay, so first cycle is one, second cycle is done, and the third cycle is this one. So that is ready to complete our circuit. Now the question is, how are we going to connect those wires in the junction boxes? So the actual wiring connections are ready. So since we have already here our uh, source line, this will serve as our source line, this one, using the main plug only and insert it to our uh, main, main outlets to serve as our uh, source line, so this one. So we tested this one already and this is our light wire. So we have this, this is intended for line 2 since this is the light wire. Then the other side is the neutral line or line 1. Okay, in the first cycle, of course, we only have to connect coming from the line 1 or one of the terminals coming from the source to one of the terminal coming from the load of the circuit. So, uh, we have to identify first which of the wires here, two wires here, is intended for our uh, neutral side. So, we will do testing first. This one, this one, so we will do the testing first, so to get the neutral side of the load, we only have to test this way, around this side, then choose the wire, that's not, okay, yeah, okay, so meaning to say this is the neutral line, the other side, we will test for neutral line, Neutral line also. Neutral line, neutral line. Then we will find the other one. Okay. Neutral line, neutral line, neutral line. So that is intended for our first cycle. That is a very important thing to do. We need first to identify as to which of the, the wires are intended for the neutral or intended for the line one. So this is the neutral line. Neutral line, neutral line, and this one is the neutral line. All right, we will start on the first cycle, right? So in the first cycle, of course, uh, one of the terminal coming from the source line, which is the neutral line or line one, this one, with a one terminal coming from the load here. 
Of course, we have three bulbs, so we need to say we do the supply wire, this one, to supply to the other side of the box. So we have around three wires here. So we have one, two, three, that is around three wires to connect around the wire. That way. Okay? So this is it. We will just have to arrange this one. This way. Okay. Then. That is the first cycle connections, right? So another first cycle here, uh, from that wire being used and distributed to one of the terminals coming from the bulb B and the bulb C. So this wire, this is the wire, right? Then one of these, this is the neutral line, and the other side, this is also the neutral line here, connected together to execute the second part of our first cycle. Okay, so let's do this guys. Then we will move on to the second cycle here, the two of these. So one of the terminal coming from the switch line we have here. Then uh, one of the terminal, uh, the three terminals coming from the load. So we have here second terminal, second terminal, and the second terminal here. So let's just only have to distribute the wires around this part. So this is one and the other side here for the second cycle. That's it. And then the three of these also for the second cycle also, this one. So three wires also here to be connected to each other this way. For the last cycle or the third cycle, we have one of the terminal coming from the switch line, then one of the terminal coming from the source from here, connected together to complete the circuit. All right. Then next step is that we will put a electrical tape for insulation purposes.
one. Then we will do the cover of the junction boxes for electrical safety purposes only. Okay. Then. Alright, so we will now energize our circuit guys. So with the use of this uh, extension wire with the main plug that will serve as our source line. So we will do this. Of course, check it out. Uh, this should be a, in an off position. Off position also. Then we will energize the circuit. Okay. Uh, switch on the circuit breaker then the switch all right on then this is off on we can off here on off that's it and thank you so much for watching our video